Hello everybody and welcome again to tutorial number four. Uh, in the previous uh, video, we have completed the geometry creation of the part. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the zero point on the bottom face, just to show you a new technique. And we are going to set the stock setup uh, tools and then uh, we do facing operation. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, now, the workpiece given here, as you can see, dimensions are 4.5 by 4.5 by half inch thickness, while the finished part thickness is 0.45, which means we have to remove 50,000 from the top face. So we have facing operation. All right. Also, I would like to show you how to uh, move the entities in different Z levels. For example, these uh, triangular pockets and the holes are at uh, Z coordinate should be 0.325. to five. Now everything is at Z0, uh, while the circular boss should be at uh, Z.45. If our Z0 is on the bottom face, then this face should be at 0.325 and the circular boss is at 0.45 so let's see how we we can do this all right so this is our part that we completed last video if you right click and then uh, go to front view you can see that everything is at z0 level so i'm going to move these things uh, up a little bit so we go to transform and from the transform uh, button we have uh, the position section i'm going to use translate translate now the message is select entities to translate so the selection method let's talk a little bit about the selection method we can make a window like this and we can select everything but i just want to show you another method how to select uh, entity if you go to the right side of the screen, we have different selection method. On this circle, we have two options. Select all advanced or the lower part of the circle, select only advanced. So let's click on select all advanced. Then the select all dialog box will show up. Okay, I can enable all entities. I want to select all entities. Then we click OK. So the result is the same. Then we click End Selection. Then uh, on the Translate uh, dialog box, a Copy is activated. I, I don't like to copy, actually. I want to move everything up. So Move. And then in Z coordinates, I want to move it to 0 0.325. 0 0.325. Click OK. Okay. Now, if you right-click, clear color, then right-click and switch to front view. Obviously, now everything has been moved. This is my Z0. Everything has been moved to 0.325. Now, one more thing. The circular boss here is to be at 0.45. Okay, so again, transform and then translate. Translate. Now I want to select only this circular boss and the ball circles and this ball. Okay, so how can I make a window? Uh, how can I set the selection method so that I can select only these entities? We can go to this selection uh, toolbar and activate automatic. And then from this I choose in, which means I want to select only the things, the entities that is completely inside the window, inside my window. So I'm going to click somewhere here, and then we make a window, all right? So as you can see now, although this circle and this part of this slot is within the window, but they are not completely within the window, so they are not they are not going to be part of my selection. So once we click, only the circular boss and the bar and this, the eight holes uh, will be selected. So end selection. 
then move and in Z I want to move it to point another point one two five in Z okay click OK right click and clear colors right click and front view so as you can see now this is my Z0 these are the entities the pockets you know and the holes at Z.325 and this is the circular boss the hole and the eight uh, bolt circles are all at 0.45 all right let's go back to top view also if you press and hold the shift key and the middle wheel you can rotate your part and we can see that you know we have now three different levels z0 0 0.325 and uh, 0.45 so let's go back to top view and now we select our machine melt default from view i'm going to enable the toolpath manager and we are ready to do the stock setup in the machine group properties we enable display we enter our dimensions 4.5 by 4.5 and thickness is half inch okay also my stock origin should be on the upper left corner of the bottom face okay so my zero point is on the bottom face in this tutorial tool settings i'm going to enter program number four as this is tutorial number four in the toolpath configuration i will put check against assign tool number sequentially put check against warm of duplicate tool numbers uh, then in the advanced uh, options i'm going to put check against uh, clearance height retract height and feed plane Okay, for sequence number, I'm going to enter 5 and uh, increment 5. Material from mill library, I'm going to select aluminum inch 6061. Mm -hmm. Click OK. OK, here we are. Now, if you look from front side, the red dotted line represent the stock of our workpiece all right again let's have a look on the isometric view and as you can see i can make shaded view and we can start now the uh, facing operation so on to facing operation toolpath and then from this gallery i select face now we are prompted to select OK to use define the stock or select chain one. So I'm going to click OK. I want to select everything here. Define the stock. So click OK. As you can see now, facing is uh, selected. For tool, I'm going to use three inch face mill. So using the filter, I can select face mill. Okay diameter equal to three click ok then we select three inch face mill so this is tool number one length offset h1 for spindle direction clockwise always and spindle speed maybe i'm going to use 1500 for the feed rate let's use 20 for the plunge rate I'm going to use a 20 rapid retract and I can add comment here face mill the upper surface okay cut parameters uh, from the style drop down list uh, currently it is set to one way so I'm going to change this to zigzag. Uh, stock to leave on floors. We are 
going to leave nothing okay so zero and from move between cuts I'm going to use linear linking parameters clearance two inches absolute use clearance only at the start and end of operation uh, retract position I set it to absolute and we make it 0.65 for example okay uh, feed plane absolute 0.65 top of stock now is 0.5 that's why I added 0.15 for a retract and feed plane so top of stock in this case is uh, 0.5 half inch for the depth I'm going to cut 50 thou so that means I'm going to go to depth 0.45 okay 0.5 minus 50 thou so 0.45 okay coolant I'm not going to activate coolant so I'll click OK so let's see how this will look like I'm going to set a few things here like I, I don't like to show the axis and I'm going to activate color loop and stop condition is at operation change right click to toggle to isometric view and I'm going to slow down the speed a little bit and we play So as you can see, when we removed, when we cut the 50 thou, we started to see the circular boss. Why? Because it is at 0.45 uh, level in that direction. Remember when we said, when we moved the, the circular boss, it was at Z.45. So that's uh, perfect. In the coming video, I'm, I'm going to proceed with the rest of the uh, machining operation. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.